Hey guys, welcome to Splat and Chat. We are gonna paint something fun and Halloweenish again. Halloweenish. <laughs> again, I have a little clue of what we're painting here. Actually, I was gonna make you guess what we're painting, but I thought, oh brother, I just showed them the picture of what you're painting. So, no yeses, we're painting a scarecrow today. Do you like this scarecrow? He's creepy, right? He's gonna sit here and watch us paint today. I hope I don't creep anybody out too bad, <laughs> including myself. Anyway, um, yeah, we have a couple more weeks of Halloween, so I thought we'd fit in a few more Halloween paintings because it's so much fun to paint Halloween stuff. If you don't know who I am, I'm Mel with Splat and Chat, and this is my channel, and I hear I paint with you and show you how to make these fun little miniature paintings that you can go and do at your own house and create and have fun with. Anyway, I paint with kids and adults and whoever wants to come and join me, so I'm excited that you're here, and uh, let's get started painting this creepy scarecrow. Maybe not him. <laughs> if he starts coming alive automatically, <laughs> I might just dish. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, you guys, get your supplies. You'll need a paper plate for your paints to go on to, like a palette. Your cup of water, your paper towels folded up nicely for you to dab your paintbrushes off. Speaking of paintbrushes, you'll need three sizes. Your big, your medium, and your tiny little round. I need five colors for this painting. Unless you want to vary the colors of mine, I use these five. I got a purple, a white, a black, a red, and an orange. Any colors you want, I use the cheap Apple Barrel brand, usually, because it's there. It's easy to get, and we're ready to start. So, put some purple, white, and some black on your palette right away. Okay, you guys, start with a wet, your biggest paintbrush. Get it wet, and dry it off a little bit on your towel. Stick a little bit of purple on there. And we're going to start painting purple. Okay, all over the screen, all over this canvas. And I love to make brush strokes, so just stroke it on there however you want to do it. I like the stroke work. It looks like clouds and stuff, and you can add a little bit of water and stroke it. So I'm going to paint this one Scarecrow, and he is kind of the theme of a Halloween party that I'm doing this year. So it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna do a locked in the barn. I have a barn. We're gonna do a locked in the barn theme. And the scarecrows come alive and try to get in the barn instead of, you know, try, you trying to get out. You're trying to lock yourself in until you break the curse and then all scarecrows die or something. And then you don't have to worry about getting out. Isn't that something fun? I mean, come on. Anyway, so. Scarecrows are my theme this year for Halloween for a party. It'll be really fun. Add a little bit of white. I'm going to just brush that in there too. In spots so it kind of looks cloudy and interesting. Like this. Right? And then add a little bit of black. Now black goes a long way. I tell you that all the time. So kind of just go easy on the black. Easy. And while you're doing it, make sure you're painting your sides and your tops. So to make sure that that whole thing is framed because when it's hanging up, it's gonna look amazing when it's got the sides done. Okay. So there, that's some creepy looking stuff, right? Yes. Cool looking sky. There we go. That's how I'm gonna leave mine. Okay. You guys figure out what you want to do for yours. All right, you guys get your medium brush, middle sized brush, this guy. And I'm gonna give you a little hint, a clue of something that's really fun. The more that you want something to look like it's kind of way off in the distance, the closer to the color of sky that you want it to be. So I want to make this grass and a fence way off in the distance. And the way to do that is to make it as close to the color that I have in the sky already, okay? So I'm gonna do some white and some purple together. And I'm gonna create a fence back here, okay? Now, if I'm doing it just, I'll just to add a line like this, Okay, see how that's kind of close to the color of the background there? I'll do another fence like this. Just a line, kind of bumpy, wiggly line. I'm going to add a little bit more purple and do some fence posts in it. Crickety, rickety fence posts back there. Nothing is perfect in a Halloween painting, right? Because it's got to be all scary and creepy. Look see, I can barely see that. That's what you want. You want it to match your background because it will look like it's way far off in the distance. Okay, so let's give it some grass in front there. Okay. Same thing, we want to put that same color back there. I'm just taking my medium paintbrush on its long skinny end and just pulling up these pieces of paint throughout there. 
okay to kind of give it some fun grass and you'll just kind of fill in the grass all the way across then we'll come back and show you some more okay all right you guys you have as much purple grass as i do i've kind of filled in that back field there we're going to do it with black now we're going to do the exact same thing and put some black grass right in front of our purple grass okay same way we did before just fill up our canvas with or brush with some black paint this time and paint right over top of those purple grasses with black grasses all the way across and you can make some curve and bend in the wind whatever you want to do and you can make them taller and you know give them different levels of grass you know like that and make sure fill that whole bottom in with the black grass after those purples you guys i got my black grass all along the front now and i rinsed my brush out really good i also painted this circle of white in the sky it's just white paint circled and I painted one because I got to paint a couple. So paint a couple layers of white in a circle shape. It kind of looks like the moon right now, but it's not the moon. That's going to be the inside of our scarecrow's face. So paint that white. I'm going to paint it over again in white again. So this is my second layer of white. You might need to do a couple just to cover that purple. Okay, and we'll just paint it in white. Just kind of right where his face goes because actually we're doing a face right there. It's not a moon. Okay, let's get started on our scarecrow. You kind of always paint things the way that you, not always, but most of the time, you paint things the way that they're built, okay? So a scarecrow, he's kind of built like this. He's got a neck and he goes down to a stick like this in the ground, right? There's a stick. Okay. Then, what else does a scarecrow need? He needs some arms. And you know, this, this stick can be look, look like a wooden stick. It can look sticky and bumpy and stuff. Like, look how cool that is, right? There's our good stick. Then he needs some good arms coming out from him. So we're going to go make a stick that goes this way like this. There we go. And a stick that goes this way. Like that. Sticking out. That's the basis of our stick figure. He actually looks like a stick figure, doesn't he? So you're going to paint some clothes on him now. And just make it like a collar on him. Comes down to a sleeve. Just paint some funky clothes the way that you think a scarecrow. And this is kind of where I drip. I take my brush like this and I just kind of go up and down and drip clothes off of him like this. I make this little cape that comes back and it's kind of blows in the wind. Just filling in his clothes here. Kind of just like we did the gra grass already. We're just kind of dripping these little pieces of cloth off of them. Okay, there's that. Let's make him kind of blow a little bit. Always helps to have sound effects. Fill them in a little bit more. There you go. Ooh, looking good, right? Ratty. You can make it as wind wind strewn as you want to. Whatever wind strewn is. This is the fun part, just kind of playing with it and figuring out how you want it to look. Anyway, let's make some like little rags that come up. I mean, you can use your little skinny tiny brush for this, or you can use just the point tip of this, but I'm gonna make some little raggies that come off like this and drip down off of them all over the place. Some little rags that kind of come way down there. Oh yes, don't you love it? Let's make them come out like this. Blowing the wind. There, that looks good, right? Let's make some little um, stuff that comes out. Little uh, hay pieces and stuff that comes out of his sleeves. Let's give him some more ratty stuff up in there. There we go. And then come to his hat. And you can do any kind of hat. You can do a witch's hat, a flat hat, you know, whatever you're thinking. Let's do like a little farmer looking hat. Like that. And it kind of comes over and comes into a little... Yeah, there you go. Right? Did you guys see that? Or my, <laughs> my fingers blocking it the entire time. Okay. There is kind of our basic outline of our scarecrow. Okay, we're going to wait for this face to dry a little bit more. And then we'll create his face. <laughs> so do you guys see my lights in the scarecrow container? Right here and right here. It's kind of funny, huh? Every time I'm painting in here, like you can see my reflection a little bit in that glass container. <laughs> and it's kind of creeping me out. I see movement over there. Yeah. Kind of creeping me out. Creeping me. What does 
the scarecrow sound like? <laughs> all right, you guys, let's finish his face here. So the trick of this is to outline all of his features first. Okay, we're going to do some funny eyes. Let's do like mean eyes like this. I'm going to do these kind of half, si half circle shapes, but kind of tilted because they look evil. And the whole trick of this is trying to get the inside inside to stay white. Okay, everything else can be black. Let's do like a triangle nose. And then let's do like a scary evil. How, how would you do a scary evil smile? A scary evil smile. I have to do, this. I have to do the, the weird voices, you know, to make it sure it's good. Oh crap, I just did it backwards what you don't want to do. Don't paint in the smile in black, okay? You want to keep everything negative. You keep the... Let's just get rid of that little smile there. You want to get rid of a mistake? I just use a little bit of water. If it's a fresh mistake, use a little bit of water. And you just keep wiping it off. Get off the paint. Rinse out that paint out of your brush. Come back. Rinse out that off there like that. And you can pretty much take it off if it's still kind of wet. Let's see me mess up. Everybody messes up sometimes. There we go. He's got a good smile spot there now. Just take a little piece of paper towel. Clean him up a little bit right there so he doesn't. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. So he's not so wet. And then we'll paint it again. Okay. So let's do it again. Remember, everything's negative. <laughs> Even I have to remind myself of that. So you want to paint a smile from the outside. The inside is what you want to save to be white. He's got a messed up face, don't you think? What you gotta do is you gotta fill in everything else now with black, okay? So fill all around your eyes, all the way around your mouth, all the way around your nose, everything's in black, but leave the white spaces in the eyes and the nose and the mouth, okay? You wanna leave the whites. I'm gonna paint this whole thing in and then I'm gonna come back and show you some more. Okay, you guys, you could be done right there at that point. He's all dry. Or you could make him glow, which I love to do. So I'm going to put a little bit of orange on this little tiny paintbrush. Come in here and paint his eyes with some orange. All over inside, so he looks like a glowing jack-o'-lantern. Like that. And then... What I kind of like to do too, to make it look like uh, it's like deep in there, is to give it a little shadow. So if you're gonna do yellow glows in there, add orange as the shadow. If you're gonna do orange glows, add a little bit of red. And I think red is kind of a little bit more dark and evilish looking. So if you want your guy to look a little more mean, do the reds. And if you want him to look a little bit more kinder and nicer, not that he would, depending on your face, really, what you do. Anyway, yellows looks a little bit lighter and nicer. Anywhere that you um, <clears throat> kind of went over your line a little bit, just take a little bit of black on this little paintbrush and come in and you can just kind of cover right back over top of that and make a really good hard line to finish off. Okay, there he is. How fun is that? Scarecrow. Of all scarecrows. What do you think? <coughs> hmm, you like him? Check him out, check him out. What do you think? Looking good? Mmm, -hmm. very good. 
I think so too. Ta da! All right, you guys, scarecrows are signing off. I hope you had fun painting yours. Leave me a comment with your picture in it. I'd love to see it. <clears throat> I'm super excited about doing my Halloween scarecrow party. It should be fun. Anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.